Hi, it's Doug Coy for SoWhatDoYouThink.com. Well, there are some people that you just, you know, you say, man, I'd like to go to coffee with this person, like to have, uh, you know, a cup of tea, sit down and talk because they make so much sense. They just get it right. You know, there's so much political correctness going on right now, and some of it is just plain silly. You know, you can't have a nativity scene on public property. Uh, you know, it, it has to be happy holidays instead of Merry Christmas. What a bunch of garbage. Uh, you know, I celebrate with my Jewish friends and Hanukkah. Uh, you know, the traditions that we have here in Canada, both, uh, you know, religious and non-religious, we need to embrace them and, instead of uh, doing this goofy stuff that some people want to do. So, she says it's so much better than I do, I'm going to let her have the floor. She spoke in front of the House of Commons about political correctness and Christmas. Here's Nina Grewal. She says it right. Mr. Speaker, Christmas is approaching and again the forces of political correctness continue. The relentless attack on the traditional traditions. Judges removed Christmas trees from their courthouses. School concerts postponed to take away the Christmas theme. The lyrics of Christmas carols changed. The distribution of candy canes banned. All the references to God, Christ and the Lord removed. Traditions are the foundation of society, culture, and the faith. And if we eliminate or water them down, we erode the glue that holds us together to embrace a diverse, secular, multicultural, multi-religious, and multi-ethnic society. There is no need to preclude the celebration of Christmas. Rather than diluting the traditions, they should be celebrated, whether it is Baisakhi, Diwali, Chinese New Year, Eid, Hanukkah, or Christmas. Let's proudly put the spirit of Christmas back in Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone.